Okay, so happy to meet everybody. Welcome to Global Peace by 2027. This is special 40 day prayer condition for peace in Eastern Europe and globally. And uh, as we have this uh, nice week uh, goal, uh, peace and action, let's um, read the Messiah Second Coming and then we'll go with the uh, global prayer chain. In accordance with God's principle for the providence of recreating his original ideal the era before the coming of heaven that was shaped by egoistic lives has passed away ushering in the era after the coming of heaven which uh, will bring about the ideal fruit of this absolute value system people who say they will live self-centered will remember their words when they cross the divining line between the era before and the era after the coming of heaven. All barriers will be eliminated in the era of God's eternal kingdom of peace. As people who live with the true love became the owners on the central figures of that age, conflicts arising from narrow-mindedness and self-centeredness over difference of skin color, language, customs, and geographical territory will disappear. Now is the time to build the ideal world in which we can live for one another together based on the system of absolute value. Okay, this was the quote for today. Let's go as traditional from Asia, starting from Asia, Silasia, India. Please say a powerful prayer for peace, some speech or even some Sanskrit. Welcome, welcome. Uh, Namaste from India. Namaste. <laughs> so what? Uh, what we are all here is for uh, global peace to be achieved and comes from within. So it is each one of us who is at peace with oneself, that's when we can spread peace with others. It is a very cumbersome process and it takes a lot of time for one person to self-realize and build up this chain of peace. It is not a very easy and a easy task as it seems to be when we hear about it. It has a lot of hard work involved with all the uh, people who are uh, uh, governing bodies, what are they called, who are governing us and who are putting things in place, the processes in place, and the democrat and pious for peace to be achieved. If an iota of corruption also exists, then the peace is at stake. It is not easy to build peace. It, it looks like a dreamy thing when we hear about it, but, it, but if good effort and good thoughts and uh, good wishes, if we can build this, I think it's a great achievement. Today we pray for peace of everyone who's listening to us, who's part of this chain and who prays uh, every day at uh, the same time for the global peace. I hope there's peace everywhere. Uh, they could, for, uh, for that to achieve, we should be with the uh, stomach full. So there should be no poverty. Everybody should be able to have their food, education and clothing and uh, everybody should have a roof to sleep on and people who are sh scattered across and who do not have things i i pray to god sincerely they should be given the basic needs of life so that everybody gets to receive at least sleep peacefully at least in india there's a lot of people who are under below poverty so we need to bring them up and uh, bridge the gap of rich and the poor and bring this uh, uh, peace uh, for the poor who's much needed. And there should be a lot of jobs created, skills developed, and education changed to bring that. So I pray for peace for all of us, give us good health, good thoughts, and wish well for each other so that we can sooner or later achieve the peace what we are moving towards so much. Namaste from India. Thank you so very much, Elaja. Namaste. Pray for you. So nice to see you and hear from you. <laughs> Next 
we invite now from Uganda, uh, Irina. Thank you. Thank you very much, Nikolai. Thank you, Sister Sailaja, for that prayer. Let us pray. Good evening, our most precious heavenly parent, our beloved true parents of heaven and earth and all humankind. Thank you for gathering us here together. Thank you for your love every day. Thank you that we are here again to pray for peace and action. We are grateful, Father, for everything you have given us today. And we pray that, Father, we continue to get peace in everything that we do. Heavenly Parent, this week there has been a lot of, of environmental destruction. The floods have killed so many people in my country, Father. And the soil erosion has been too much. Landslides have been too much. And many, have, many people have lost their lives, up to 30 people. Heavenly parents, we are very sorry for such things that happen, not only in Uganda, but all over the world. And we know that the people who lose their lives in such situations, they go with the resentment because we have spoiled your creation. The environment is all gone. Father, as we pray for peace and action, help us to see and do those things that will bring back the environment to normal so that we can plant trees where they are not trees. We can plant food to help those who are dying of hunger. Please give us that action <clears throat> so that we can save our world. Even parent, please protect everyone on earth because everybody is having certain situations of sadness. There's no one who is completely free and happy. So we pray that Father, in all situations in the world, please take care of them. For example, we are having floods, others are having fire, others are having political problems. Father, the whole world is in chaos. We are seeing big political countries get dismantled because of small ideologies, differences. Father in heaven, there's no way we can achieve peace if we don't come back and look at you and look at what you wanted us from the beginning. And then we can understand your will and then we can act according to your will. So at this time, I want to pray for all those brothers and sisters who are praying every day and night, praying for peace, praying for stability, praying for unification, praying for um, war ending, especially Ukraine and Russia, praying for all sorts of good things like health. Father, we want to really thank all those people wherever they are in the world. And especially I want to thank the members on our forum here who come in every day to pray for peace on earth. So we know that little by little makes a bundle. So we know that somehow, somewhere, we are going to make a bundle of people who believe in peace, especially peace that we can get by the year 2027. Thank you so much for everything. Thank you for sending your good angels who are always with us in everything that we do, in everything that we say, and especially in the things that we think about. We also want to thank our ancestors because, Father, even though we don't see them, 
we know that many of them are wishing us good and therefore are directing us to do good. So Father, please protect them wherever they are and enhance their activities of goodness. We want to pray for the founder of Family Federation for World Peace and his wife, for their health, for their longevity. We want to pray that Father, everyone can know that at this time on earth, it is urgent to get peace. Thank you for everything. Again, in gratitude, I pray and thank you in the name of a blessed central family, adieu, amen, amen. Adieu, amen, amen. Thank you very much, Irina. So powerful, Mother Heart. Thank you, Irina. Yeah. Uh, anyhow, as we discuss about peace and action, uh, as I start this forum, anyhow, I, give, I receive a lot of ideas from God and I try to do it immediately, <laughs> all of this. So uh, as I, I contact you, I give Peace Ambassador certificate to 300 leaders of different organizations and uh, teachers and all of this. And uh, we try to unite already in 110 countries to do this um, with one uh, good, um, how to say, purpose, global peace by 2027. Because uh, from my perspective, if everybody will take the flag of peace, like every home will have, so they, they how to say, pledge to not, how to say, attack others. And, <laughs> and uh, like this, if all homes globally, if they will, raise the banner of global peace by 2027 so there will be peace because everybody is agreed to do peace <laughs> and uh, now recently um, uh, last month i working with the uh, contact uh, ambassadors from uh, different country and my country so i i don't do it uh, how to say, i don't have finance about but uh, i do it voluntarily already for 25 years i working with missiles and coming for the global peace and uh, we do different conferences and recently uh, how they are doing a lot of volunteer work about this and um, I think everybody could do it and every, every country they could contact their ambassadors like from European country and other country and uh, at least give them idea because you know when husband and wife just uh, as in the, in the psychologist so husband and wife or like <laughs> different people looking to each other just to each other. Uh, and they don't have goal or purpose ahead, <laughs> for example, God or Global Peace by 2027, they just fight with each other, as we see in the globally. You have this problem and you have this, 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 this. they don't have orientation. You know? <laughs> so therefore, we're supposed to orient them. At least uh, I uh, how to say, contact them, embassies and inspire them. Okay, let's work for Global Peace by 2027. And uh, so I think if everybody, everybody, all human beings will focus on this, the Messiah's coming goal, that they will, could be and everybody will raise the flag for peace. <laughs> so then will, there will be peace. So this is shortly that I do short action. So every day I, I write something, I chat something, I do morning like inspirational meetings and the videos. And also in the evening, uh, we have this uh, prayer meeting and also I'm on pilgrimage now. So maybe to move heaven, you know, like <laughs> at least, you know, for, from divine principle, we know that um, to achieve some uh, results, they're supposed to be paid some indemnity, you know? And this is one idea that I want to deliver to everybody who will watch this video and who are online, that everybody could do it in their own country. I inspire those peace ambassadors whom I work, that uh, please, in your country, just contact them. If you, if you how to say, don't have the text, I could send you the text. And that give them idea because if embassies will give the idea, they could send this uh, about go by 2027. They could send it to their president, and presidents couldn't argue so much. You know, like maybe they will think about at least to have a vision. <laughs> of course, we pray, but physically we could send the letters to them. Like I congratulate uh, embassies in my country with day I know uh, uh, National Day, like National Day of India, National Day of Uganda, National Day of uh, uh, other. So this is one idea. And another, as I have to say, I'm thinking very much about, you know, uh, lately, uh, there is about uh, globally, 
like three percent of the. But how are the reciprocating to your uh, text? What you are sending? Is are they positive about it? Uh, I don't have any reply yet, but uh, anyhow, <laughs> I started just one month. Maybe later they will send. But uh, anyhow, uh, till now I was doing with the um, how to say um, birthday on my Facebook. I I congratulate everybody to birthday, happy birthday. <laughs> And now I have good connection with many people <laughs> globally. I have on Facebook 5,000 people. So uh, I think the same could be in the embassy. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Salaza, for your question. <laughs> and this came to another, like, uh, how to say, <laughs> chain. You know, like, um, um, globally, is already calculated that 3% of the people have almost 95 uh, percent of the wealth and the same is in my country and every country like usa and others so uh, so so uh, like uh, this organization works farm what i what they make the research that they say that uh, the we was thinking to make a global economy to help every people you know but it helped just one percent of the world population unfortunately so uh, this is good to think about and uh, if if you could contact these uh, world people and ask them please invest in peace don't sell guns <laughs> and weapons don't make them yeah the world could be different mm. that is true okay thank you for your hard work yeah, uh, I think this is the beginning. Let's let's work more. I know you know a lot of VIP, so let's think how to do it. <laughs> At least I know I like I like Africa, and okay. I know there was a, there was one good uh, uh, man in India, uh, Pakistan, I think. He 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 received Nobel Prize, and he opened a bank to the microfinance, and he invests like in the people that they give five dollar or fifteen dollar to. Um, to they start their own um, business, for example, like to buy thermometer to make milk this uh, pasteurized or uh, something like this, very simple. And I think the same is the Africa because I read in Africa too is uh, yeah yeah too many like uh, is and the world more or less is like in developed country. This gap between rich people and uh, uh, the, this uh, middle middle people are um, how to say more people. But in, in Africa, there is a lot of poverty. Like in Nigeria, 60% is poverty that have nothing. They go to the slums and take something like to, to and sell it to, to for eating. So it is just terrible. Of course, there is a lot of uh, uh, violence and something like this. So um, because it's this big gap between rich people and the uh, simple people. Also, we don't speak about corruption, all of these things. But we could help those people because everybody has got children. We could contact our presidents and prime ministers and all of them and ask them, okay, let's work for this. At least because people, I think, uh, even we take our education, you know, we in our school sometimes I, I study almost 15 years, you know, like school and university. And, uh, but uh, nobody teach me how to make money, <laughs> how to feed the family. Mm. <laughs> And the most, mm -hmm. most important uh, um, Even I do not know how to make money. Help me know. <laughs> Charity begins at home. Yes, yes. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> so let's, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> okay, uh, since uh, Grace joined, uh, Grace, could you say a powerful prayer for peace? Short one, uh, and uh, let's think about how we could contact other people. Please contact your embassies, like presidents and prime ministers. I contact mine. <laughs> I contact them always <laughs> about this, about that, about this. And main idea is Global Peace by 2027. Okay, Grace, welcome. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Grace, please. Hello? Pray for peace. Okay, let, let us pray. Uh, loving a most precious heavenly parent, the true parents of heaven, earth, and humankind, good evening. 
Thank you so much once again that we have come together on this day, the first day of the month of August, to pray for peace and action. Heavenly Parent, we pray that you can help us, Heavenly Parent, to work so much and realize peace in this world. Would like to pray for those countries that are struggling. I want to pray for those countries that are hit by natural calamities, Heavenly Parent. And my country is one of them. We pray that, Heavenly Parent, we may learn your will. We may understand, Heavenly Parent, the purpose for which we were created and work to fulfill it, Heavenly Parent. We pray for all those who are suffering. We pray for families, Heavenly Parent, who are suffering. We pray for all those different countries, Heavenly Parents, that are fighting each other, forgetting that they are one in your eyes, Heavenly Parent. May they remember that they came from one parent who is you. May they remember they are of the same race, Heavenly Parent. May they know and value each other, Heavenly Parent, and understand that no one has the right to kill the other, Heavenly Parent, that only life belongs to you. You are the source of everything that is in this world and in the cosmos. And may we value it, Heavenly Parent. May we embrace each other. May we support each other. May we guide each other, Heavenly Parent. And may we work together so much that we can be able to realize a peaceful world. Loving our most precious Heavenly Parent, we have learned so much from our Lord Jesus Christ, who taught us to live, to love one another the way we love ourselves. Can we base on that heavenly parent and work together and embrace one another and love each other the way you love us? And when we do that, heavenly parent, we'll be able to build a peaceful world. May we get the wisdom from you and inspiration of how we can find ways of working to realize a one world, to realize the world that you desire at the time of the creation. Thank you so much for, every, for this evening. Thank you for everyone who is on this platform. And even those ones who are off the platform, Heavenly Parent, that you guide us and make us live one uh, under your wings. Thank you so much. I report this in the name of our most precious two parents. Adieu, amen. Thank you. Amen, Thank amen, you. amen. Thank you so much. Thank you, Felicia. Adieu, Grace. Thank you very much. You're welcome, Eli. Please join my prayer too. Uh, dear Heavenly Parent, we are praying in your presence. We are praying in your presence that you are with us. We know that you are with us. We could feel it. We could understand it. And we could understand because we have a great idea as we meet and uh, as a uh, Brothers and sisters testify, those who are now meeting, uh, they, uh, we don't have this, uh, all of these traces of sin, and we try to cooperate international. So I pray for all families who are here, the larger family in India, and Irina, and Grace in uh, Uganda, Africa, and uh, I'm in uh, Europe. Uh, dear family parents, please uh, lead us, lead us to uh, understand as you, you unite us with one purpose, Global Peace by 2027, um let's think how we could do it like do see how we could make action more actions uh, how we contact more people and inspire them to invest in peace not as uh, it is now and the uh, wars and the uh, fighting brothers kill uh, each other dear heavenly parent this is a big mistake and uh, and uh, of course there will be much indemnity to pay and much uh, difficulties but um, you want to give blessing to all your children and you have to want to save them. You want to give blessing to their families and countries and full continent. As we see the Messiah second coming is doing this great work. And therefore we pray, especially for 14 August, there will be 10th anniversary of the Messiah second coming and the true father. And we pray for you that many presidents and the simple people and all global, because you send Messiah to save every of you child. And you did your, uh, uh, your responsibility thousands of thousands of uh, time. Uh, we know that uh, you couldn't be like Santa Claus and bring the salvation just on the, um, in the back, but uh, uh, there is much indemnity to pay. So uh, 
Dear Heavenly Parent, therefore we pray to pay this indemnity and that others, brothers and sisters, seven billions will receive salvation and blessing. Dear Heavenly Parent, we invest our, all our heart and also not only uh, brothers and sisters globally, but also those in the spiritual world. We pray for the seminar that will be uh, Ancestral Liberation Seminar on the 12th of August. And um, this will be global and even universal in the spiritual world. And uh, many ancestors will uh, um, go to the 100 day divine principle seminar uh, and uh, then they will receive blessings and they will become absolute good spirit because till now was too many kids uh, of your children suffering in hell but now is gate to uh, heavenly kingdom is open as we read the messiah second coming that new era is coming uh, where uh, you absolutely could guide humankind and uh, you could live with humankind uh, freely dear heavenly parents without any indemnity so uh, and uh, Therefore, like all who was living selfishly, they would uh, have a big regret and they also their uh, descendants will uh, uh, also will accuse them. So therefore, we want to live our life to not have this accusation from anybody. We want to live our life that, um, that, and also inspire all children because uh, till now there was big accusation from uh, satanic world and Satan. But uh, we pray that uh, uh, now all your children uh, get back without any accusation, live freely in heavenly kingdom. Dear heavenly parents, we want to um, bring and substantialize this uh, victory as uh, the already Chen Guk era start already 10th year in every corner of the earth, freely and you God's love. Dear heavenly parents and true love. Dear heavenly parents, please uh, lead us and uh, lead us to pass all this uh, to our new um, future generation, all future generation, these pure kids who are in our families and all families that uh, shouldn't uh, be, don't, shouldn't have wars, shouldn't have famine, should, shouldn't uh, uh, suffer anymore. They, they're supposed to live in peace, dear heavenly parents. And this is not just our wish. We want to work for it and bring it and uh, build this uh, peaceful world step by step and brick by brick. Uh, by 2027, please lead us to accelerate this. We see the last uh, uh, big uh, cataclysm was there because of uh, uh, on Earth now, also because of human ignorance. And uh, uh, we pray that um, uh, you could teach us, every one of us, and as we go to this transcendent era where you are, we are in direct you, of you do, dominion. Dear Heavenly Parents, please uh, receive this uh, 1st of August. Um, uh, new month uh, and uh, lead us ahead uh, to bring more results for you, uh, more, more of your children to you, and they could understand that you are uh, their parent and uh, live in happiness, uh, not uh, uh, fighting in, as an in evil world, uh, the accusations and uh, um, sanctions and war. Dear Heavenly Parents, we pray for peace, we pray to socialize it very quickly. And uh, we pray for urgent peace. Dear Heavenly Parent, please lead us and let's do it. Uh, and uh, I pray, uh, bring this uh, all day and uh, um, former months as I was on the pilgrimage. And I pray for brothers and sisters who are on the forum, and everybody, uh, with their families also for globally, for other people, that uh, the heavenly world will start as soon as possible. Dear Heavenly Parent, uh, I'm the 50th day of this uh, pilgrimage, and please lead us further. And um, I pray this in my name is Nikolai Sherpala, Center Plus Family. Adieu, amen, amen, amen. Yeah, amen. Thank you very much, brothers and sisters, uh, everybody who joined. Thank you so much, Nathan. Thank you. Yeah, pray for bye you. Bye. Yeah, may God lead you, lead you <laughs> every hour, every day, every second. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Yeah, Thank bye -bye. you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.